Volcanoes are amazing natural formations that fascinate and spark the interest of many people, especially when they erupt. Hello and welcome back to The Daily Eco. In today's video, we will explore the different parts that compose these impressive structures. Magma Chamber In general terms, volcanoes have six parts, but many more could be detailed. We will start from its lowest part, the magma chamber. This can be defined as a huge deposit at great depths where magma accumulates, which is a mass of molten rock that rises to the surface during an eruption. Conduit The conduit is the pathway that links the magma chamber to the outside world. When a volcano erupts, magma flows upward through this conduit. The intense pressure created by the rising magma can cause the chimney to rupture, resulting in fragments of rock being carried along during the eruption. Volcanic Cone The volcanic cone is formed by the buildup of solidified lava from multiple eruptions that have taken place over a period of time. The thickness and size of the volcanic cone can vary depending on the number of eruptions it has experienced. Furthermore, the type of lava expelled during the eruptions determines the different types of cones, ultimately giving rise to various kinds of volcanoes. Stratovolcanoes are characterized by their composite structure, which consists of alternating layers of lava and rock. Cinder cone volcanoes are formed from volcanic scoria, which is composed of larger fragments than ash. Scoria cones tend to have a steep slope and a conical shape. Additionally, secondary cones can form on a volcano when solidified lava accumulates on the main cone, and these secondary cones may have their own internal conduit connected, connected to the primary conduit. But before we continue, let us put you to the test. Where do volcanoes typically form along the boundaries of tectonic plates? In the middle of a tectonic plate? None of the above. Think about it carefully because at the end of the video you can check if you were right. Fissures. Fissures are opening or gaps that can be found in a volcano's cone. They serve as pathway for the eruption of lava. These cracks form when the immense pressure from gases and magma during an eruption causes the volcano to rupture. Crater The crater is an opening located at the top of the volcano. Throughout this opening, lava, gases and other volcanic materials are expelled during an eruption. While craters generally have a round shape and large perimeter, each volcano has a distinct crater in terms of size and shape. Some volcanoes even have multiple craters, especially those with secondary cones. These secondary cones often lead to the formation of a crater known as a lateral crater. Eruptive Column The eruptive column is a vertical column composed of gases and pyroclastic materials that are forcefully expelled from a volcano. It can be observed rising above the main crater and lateral craters. The intense pressure propelling these gases can cause the column to reach heights of several kilometers. Typically, the eruptive column becomes visible shortly before the volcano starts to erupt. And going back to the question we asked you earlier, have you thought it through? The correct answer is A. Volcanoes commonly form along the boundaries of tectonic plates. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Let us know in the comment section below if you have any questions or suggestions. And until next time.